Hey guys, Beats here, Plumbing here, and today I'm here with my new 2023 Kohler Cimarron Revolution 360 toilet in black. I actually got this toilet, just a bowl, for only $3.50 at a Habitat for Humanity Restore, which is honestly a really great deal, even though it didn't have a tank, lid, or seat, just a bowl alone for $3.50. Don't think it can get much better than that, but um, so this thing is rated for 1.28 to 1.6 gallons per flush. The date is right here. Hopefully y'all can see that. And this tank is really not designed for this type of toilet, so it is leaking a little bit. The only reason it's leaking is because the bolts on there don't have a great seal on them. Uh, the logo is a little bit hard to see, but not horrible. Uh, the only thing about this toilet I do not like is the bore rinse. I don't know if it's just because of this tank or if it's just the toilet itself. So I'm not really gonna judge it too harshly yet until I get an actual Simron tank that's meant for this style toilet. But uh, other than that, I think it definitely looks cool. I've always liked the look of black toilets. The only thing that kind of sucks about them is one, is if it gets dirty, it'll show a lot more. And it makes it hard to see the trapway because you really can't even see that in there. You might be able to a tiny bit, but um, the tank is completely full. So here is a flush. Whoa, what is going on with the brightness? Here's a flush. So the bowl rinse definitely isn't the greatest. Uh, I'm sure it'll do okay in normal use, but I'm definitely gonna have to do some testing with this toilet, like bowl rinse test. I'll do a dye test just to see how well it does. And honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to do a dye test or not just because of the, the fact that it's black, you won't even really be able to see with the color of the water, but the tank is full. So here is another flush. I think the brightness is going all crazy just because of the color of the fixture. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it missed a little bit up here. It missed some back here and up here. So it definitely will probably get dirty over time on normal use, but um, now I'm gonna do more of like a half flush, so I don't know what's going on with the brightness, but here's more of a half flush. The siphon on this toilet definitely is pretty strong, so I don't think it'll have any performance issues clogging wise. Uh, cooler toilets aren't really known for clogging, except for the older ones like the Wellworth Water Guards and the, uh, the Wellworth Lights. Those had a lot of issues, but these have pretty solid trapways and it's fully glazed, which is nice, but here is another flush. Yeah, see, it just misses a whole bunch there. And I don't know what is going on with my brightness. It's all over the place. Let me just lock the brightness. Hopefully that'll work. Um, yeah, it seemed to have fixed it. Alrighty, well, here is another flush. The tank is almost full. Here we go. Now I'll just do one more close-up flush. But uh, again, I'll definitely have to do tests on this. Uh, I need to pull that Madeira off the toilet stand over there and put this on it. That way I can do tests and not have everything get stuck on the bottom. But overall, again, I really do like the look and the design of this toilet. I'm just not a fan of the bowl rinse, even though it's cool to have a few toilets now with this Revolution 360 jet. It's not the greatest thing ever. I prefer the Toto ones that have two, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock my focus again so the brightness doesn't go all over the place. All right, here is more of a close-up flush. Overall, not bad, but I've definitely seen better bowl rinse on toilets that have rim jets, so. Yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below. And as always, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.